Well, come August 1st, Americans will be able to download online plans to make 3D guns at home. However, people in Pennsylvania will not be among them. I'm News reporter Matt Petrillo is live in the news center with more on the controversial decision to block access. Good morning, Matt. Hi, good morning, Rahel and Natasha. Attorney General Josh Shapiro, Governor Tom Wolf, and Pennsylvania State Police sued to block a Texas-based company that distributes 3D gun plans. The lawyers representing the Commonwealth argued 3D guns disregard state gun laws. And last night in federal court, the Commonwealth won. The company Defense Distributed is now agreeing to block Pennsylvania users from its websites. Defense Distributed also agrees to not upload any new 3D printable gun files. The company created what it called an at-home gun printing system, allowing people to use a 3D printer to make their own plastic guns without serial numbers and without being subjected to the country's background check system. But last night's court decision only restricts access for Pennsylvanians. On Defense Distributed's website, Website. It says starting August 1st, it'll have files for 3D printable guns online for mostly everyone else in the country. People only need to become members, which starts at $5 a month. What you won't need is proof of age, a valid gun license, or a permit to carry number. And they can't be detected by metal detectors because they have no metal. Now Democratic New York Senator Chuck Schumer plans to introduce a bill that would prohibit the online publication of any printable 3D gun nationwide. Terrorists can get hold of these. Criminals can get hold of these. People who want to cause havoc at stadiums or airports or anywhere there's metal detectors can get hold of these without any checking because all you do is go online, buy the kit, and you can make it. That's got to stop and it's got to stop now. Still, the owner of Defense Distributed says he will fight anyone who tries to restrict access to its files, including the Commonwealth. He told Philly.com last night, quote, Pennsylvania has no right to come in and tell us what we can and can't share on the Internet. Reporting live in the News Center, Matt Petrillo, CBS3 Eyewitness News. All right, Matt, thank you so much.